was just having some lunch, sorry. No, no, don't worry, this is a totally okay time, we are good. Um, we had an appointment, yeah, yeah, I remember your teacher kind of reached out to me and wanted us to schedule something. You are a little bit early, but nothing's wrong with that. No, no, take a seat, get comfy. Just have a sip of water. Do you need anything? Do you want me to get you a glass of water? Um, I know we don't have anything too great in the vending machines here, but I think we have some of that sugar-free soda. You're okay. okay. I'm trying to drink more water lately, you know? Um, I'm, as you probably could guess, like most teachers, I love coffee, but I'm trying to relax my caffeine habits a little bit. I'm sure you understand with college applications coming up everything. Are you on a caffeine kick? I know so many students are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... Don't drink too much. You don't want to be staying up too late, but I do know it's a stressful time for you guys, but why don't we just have a nice relaxing chat? I, I don't think we've ever really talked before. No, well, I'm excited to get to know you a bit more. Um, now, I always ask, just kind of before we get chatting, um, if you want. A squishy to play with sometimes it can feel a little bit I don't know, intimidating to talk to me um, but you know don't worry it's just be yourself it's not a test or anything like that but regardless sometimes playing with the squishy can make you feel a little bit better I don't know focus on something else yeah of course which one do you want my favorite one. Good pick. I'll also give you this one. It feels a little bit different. It's kind of cool. Okay. Well, um, what do you, you kind of feel like talking about today? I know your teacher had kind of mentioned that you were struggling a little bit in class, staying focused, um, not really handing in all your assignments. Um, so, I do kind of want to touch on that. Uh, no, don't worry, you're not in trouble or anything. I mean, I care about that stuff, but I don't really care as much. What I kind of care more about, don't tell your teacher this, I care more about you than the assignment. Um, and if I'm being frank, they've probably put so much stress on you with all these assignments lately. And college applications, grades, GPAs, blah. I mean, hearing about it in the conference room, honestly, drives me crazy, so I can't imagine all you guys going through it right now. Um, so I do kind of want to talk a little bit why that's been going on, um, but really, since it's our first time chatting, I'd love to get to know more about you, what you, I don't know, anything you really want to talk about, whatever makes you feel most comfy, okay? I don't really want to jump into too much of the deeper stuff right away because it's so intimidating. Nobody wants that, right? Now, during our little chit chats, um, I sometimes like to write and take notes so that I can add things to your file, just so that if we talk again, you know, I can refer back to things. I, I do have a better memory than a goldfish, but, you know, there's a lot of students at this school. Sometimes I can forget certain things. But I also know it can make students sometimes uncomfortable if I'm writing down notes. It almost feels like I'm, I don't know, not paying attention or something like that. I promise I'm listening, of course, but if it causes you more anxiety for me to be writing down stuff, then up to you, really. It's okay? Okay. I always think it's important to ask because when I used to, 
Camp. I mean, I'm old, but feels like not so long ago when I would talk to the guidance counselor and they would be typing on their computer or writing in their notebook. It would make me feel more anxious um, because I thought that, I don't know, I was like, what are you writing? You know, it freaked me out so much, but that's just me. You know, everyone's different. Okay. So, pencil, yeah. To be honest, these are kind of makeshift. I just glued little flowers to the ends of the pencils. I find that all the school supplies that they get for the staff room are so bland. Really had to, you know, amp up the decor. It was, I kid you, not just plain beige walls. They gave me one, like, um, stack of colored construction paper, and I was like, what do you expect? Okay, so why don't we just start off with something easy, you know? What's your favorite hobby? What do you like to do outside of school? Okay, how long have you been doing that for? No, oh, wow, so a while. Does, does it, um, like, make you happy? Does it still bring you joy? Or how do you feel about, you know, dance? Because I know it can be super competitive, but it makes you happy. It's like an outlet for you. That's good. Okay, what type of dance do you do? Hip-hop. Nice. Are you on, um, like, the, the social medias, you know, like the TikTok and all of that, posting the dance videos. Uh, I, I try to keep up a little bit with it, but to be honest, I'm not too good with all that social media stuff, but a little bit. Okay, nice. Is that kind of your main thing outside of school? Do you have anything else that brings you joy? It doesn't have to be a sport or an activity. It could just be something like playing with your dog, talking with your family, listening to music. Yeah, I guess you're right. Those are activities, but you know what I mean. Not like dance or swimming sports. My debate team. <laughs> That's good. It's a good skill to have. I'm honestly not a very good cook. <clears throat> I don't care to admit it. I think probably my best skilled meal is an Alfredo with the pre-made sauce. <laughs> What's your favorite meal to cook? Ooh. I'm vegan, so I couldn't eat that, but it does sound delicious. Yeah, classic meal. So dance and cooking, those are great. And those are things that you can also carry on throughout your life, you know, that's really nice. Um, sometimes a lot of people, even myself, can feel a little bit lost um, after finishing a sport or something, because I used to play when I was, you know, younger in my prime years. I used to play soccer, and um, after it was kind of, you know, a more difficult sport to kind of just do on my own, um, but it's dance, you can always kind of dance wherever, you know, I get that feeling, um, same with cooking, cook every day, gotta eat, right, <laughs> so it's good to have those things that you can do, and kind of zone in on yourself. So, maybe we can talk a little bit about how you're all feeling overall in life. Are you feeling happy, hopefully? Or are you feeling maybe a bit stressed out, it's a tough time of year, um, sad? Sometimes you might be feeling frustrated. I know it can sound kind of silly that I'm asking these questions, but if you feel comfortable with it, I'd, I 
think it could help kind of, you know, guide us into some more discussion around school and stuff and, you know, those assignments and things. always open unless I'm with another student but I will always uh, make time for you and you're never a burden okay you know I don't think that your parents find you a burden like you're saying how you feel and I'm not trying to discredit those feelings but if you are feeling like that at home I just want you to know that here at school you're never a burden okay you can always talk to me you can talk to your teachers some of them are a little bit more receptive than others. Okay. I know, um, Mr. Oh, what's his name? Yes, him. You just knew. Yes. Kind of a cold, cold fella. <laughs> I remember one time I cracked a joke with him in the staff room and nothing. It was just blank. He looked up from his, um, like, you know, what are those called? Clipboards. Who even has a clipboard nowadays? Looked up, gave me a look, and looked back down. Was, oh, dead stare. So, perhaps not him, but, but your other teachers, and especially myself, never a burden. And I love chatting with you. I always love chatting with the students. So, at home, it's a little bit tough. You're finding stressful. Do you have any siblings? Only child. Are your parents quite busy then with work? going through a divorce? You don't have to answer, but yeah. Okay. Now, I ask because um, I, my parents actually went through a similar thing when I was about your age, so I can kind of empathize with certain feelings if you want to open up about that. Um, we also do have different support groups here at the school, um, and you don't have to join, of course, if you don't want to, but there are some other students here who are kind of, you know, dealing with similar search situations in their life, and I'm obviously not going to disclose that because that's private information, but when we do these kind of group sessions, it can feel nice to kind of talk about that with people your own age in a safe space, and I'm there too, kind of helping guide the conversation, but I just want you to know that you're not alone, you know. There are so many students that are going through similar things. Um, and so sometimes it can be nice to kind of feel just that you're not alone in this and that there are options if you do want to talk to people, okay? Of course, you can always talk to me. I just thought I'd put that out there because sometimes it can feel... I don't know, some students like talking to me, some students like talking in more of a group setting with people their age, you know, to each their own, exactly. Okay, so you kind of are drifting a little bit away from your parents then because they're fighting, going through that tough time. A lot of arguments. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. It's definitely not wait you need, you know, not that added stress and it's always tough because with school and everything and, you know, your other extra activities, it can feel overwhelming, almost like you're drowning in all of it. Yeah. So, no wonder these assignments are probably feeling just like something extra. I can kind of um, understand how sometimes school might feel necessary, redundant, like we're on this spinning piece of rock and, you know, 
the middle of space, you know, what is a school project on Shakespeare really have to do with anything, especially when you're dealing with these problems at home and with your parents, you're see seeing these real life struggles happening, and so they're fighting about money, you know, you're hearing these real problems going on with your family, you're seeing it, you're experiencing it, what's working on a Shakespeare project really going to do for you right now, you know, it's, it's not going to help you in any way, it feels kind of pointless, right? Now, I can understand how, you know, those feelings kind of accumulate, but unfortunately, you still got to um, keep up with your schoolwork, but that's not to say that there can't be anything put in place to help with that, you know? I can't make all of these assignments go away, but I can put in accommodations for you so that you can get extensions on certain assignments. We have some great study groups here at the school. I know a few tutors that I could even put you in contact with. No, don't worry, that won't be a cost to you. We can work something out, okay? We can look at um, what would work best for your situation and we could find a tutor that would work best for you, your needs, your schedule, you know? It shouldn't feel like an extra stress. It should feel like a type of relief. We'd put these things in place to help you, not to add to the stress, okay? Um, so, um, with everything that's going on at home, we've kind of been feeling like school's not important as much. So in class, your teacher said that you've kind of been um, not really paying attention, not really disruptive, but just not caring at all, not adding to any discussion, ignoring things. Do you want to speak on that a little bit? Kind of why that's been going, going on, why you feel the need to kind of shut everyone else out in class? Is it just because of what's been going on at home? Or is there something else? Are you maybe dealing some, with some stuff with friends? Okay. Okay, how long have these kind of friend struggles been going on? A couple months now. Wow. So these are some ongoing, I guess, would you call it fights with your friends? Toxic, toxic friends, sorry. Okay. Do you speak to them anymore? Are they in your classes or do you just see them kind of at lunch and stuff? talking about it because it's just drama, but even when you're older, all this drama seems silly in the grand scheme of things, but it's really not silly if it's causing you distress, if it's distracting you in class, it's, it might feel silly to talk about, you know, but your feelings are, are valid, you know, if, if it's causing you stress, it's not silly, so don't worry. I've heard so many things, you couldn't surprise me, <laughs> not with any of that type of drama, I'm sure, and if you did, you know what? I would get you sugar-free soda <laughs> on me. <laughs> okay. No, all of this stuff does stay between us, okay? The only time that I would have to get someone else involved is if you're discussing things that would hurt someone else or hurt yourself, okay? Um... There are also certain things that I would have to disclose to your parents if there was any, you know, 
substance abuse, any underage activities, then I would, you know, have to talk to your parents, but if it's stuff to do with friends, drama, any of that stuff, that can stay between you and me, don't worry. Okay. Continue. some issues in the friend group, yeah. Okay. And this has been going on for a while then, this type of discussions, these texts, social media stuff, you said DMs, right? That's Instagram. Okay. Now, have you talked to them recently about these things, about because I assume you don't really want to be friends with these people any, anymore, you know, from what you're telling me, it sounds like you've been hurt by them. It sounds like we can maybe detach these relationships. Some, some friendships have an expiration date. I've had some friends in my life who I've loved so much, I thought they would be my ride or die BFF, you know, as they say, but some friendships do have an expiration date, especially when you've been hurt multiple times. It becomes a pattern. And we don't want to keep putting ourselves in a situation either where we're going to get hurt. Even though we can, we maybe want to be the bigger person and give them another chance. Um, but I don't, from what I'm hearing from you, it doesn't sound like you necessarily want to work things out. You're just really hurt. And so are you still engaging in the conversations, the group chats, the DMs? I know it can feel really hard to pull away from that, to not engage in it, but I think it's important just to take a step back right now, okay? You have a lot going on, and I don't think you need this extra toxicity, this extra drama in your life. Um, now, I know a lot of people, you know, um, are really active on social media, so for some it's their outlet, for others, their work, you know, so many young TikTok stars nowadays, um, but is social media something that you can maybe take a break from? Would that be possible for you? Even just deleting the app for a day, you know, see how much freedom that makes you, that gives you, you know, how does that make you feel having that freedom, that extra time? Because then also, if you take away the app where this is all happening, because you said the group, group chats, DMs, right? Yeah. So if you take away that app, I would say block them, but yeah, so you're already shaking your head. I had a feeling that you wouldn't want to do that cause that extra drama. You could just delete the app and then you wouldn't see the notifications. You wouldn't be anxious to know when you're going to get another notification because you're not going to see it's not going to be there. And if it's just this constant cyclical toxicity, you know, in these group chats, these fights bring stuff up that you just can't, you know, deal with. It. It's it's bullying. If it, if it keeps going on like this, this pattern, this bringing these things up, these hurtful comments towards you and, you know, the things you've been going through, it's okay to get rid of it, to delete the app, take some time for yourself, focus on your dance, the things that make you happy, and in the meantime, we can set and place some accommodations for you. I can't, like I said, take away all your assignments. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish someone could take away all of my assignments. I still have work even though I'm a guidance counselor, I still have some paperwork that I don't want to do, but I can definitely put in some parameters to help you with those things. I 
can hopefully even lighten your workload or I could work with your teachers, kind of talk with them what's been going on. We could maybe create some alternative assignments. Um, do you have any group projects with these people? In one of your classes. Okay, what class is that? Do you want to give me their name? I, what I could do is I could talk to the teacher and just say, um, that it's not a good group and just in terms of kind of healthy communication, all of that stuff, you know, the buzzwords. Um, but I talked to your teacher about it and we could put you in a new group. Is there even a group that you'd prefer to be in? Someone who maybe you'd want to be friends with, who you kind of talk to here and there? some people in the class who maybe you don't know, but would be interested in getting to know anyone like that? Yeah, okay. Okay. What are their names? Okay. Oh, I do know her. Mm -hmm. Lovely, yeah. I think you guys would get along, yeah. Did you know that they also do dance? Mm -hmm. They performed last year's talent show. Yes, they did. So, I think that that could be a good group for you. And I won't talk to your teacher about what's been happening, you know, specifically. Um, but I would just kind of say, you know, basically, let's put them in, in a new group, specifically this group. We need to focus on the student's mental health, what's kind of better for them right now, rather than this assignment group project, you said. Yeah, presentation, oh, the worst, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It feels like a lower priority with everything that's been going on with you. I totally get it. So, I'll talk with them and we'll, we'll sort that out for you, okay? Don't worry. I will sort that out. Mm -hmm. Because it's also, you're also not going to perform your best academically if you're in a group that doesn't make you feel comfortable. Especially to talk with if you don't feel even, I guess, safe's not necessarily the right word, but in the terms of sharing your ideas, if you feel that you're going to be judged for sharing an idea on a group project just because of the people who are in your group, that's not going to make you feel any more comfortable, okay? That's not going to help you perform academically. It's not going to incentivize you to want to help with the group project, right? Well, why would you? with my water intake today. It's little achievements. Okay. Well, I think that that's a good start, okay? A good little start that we've kind of had here, and I, I can see that we're already having some, some implementation, you know? We can already make some realistic steps here to kind of help you out. Um, now, I do have another session with a student, okay? Coming up in a, just about five minutes or so. Um, I don't want you to feel rushed out of here by any means. I can always schedule some other time. Actually, let me look here. Okay. I could even, you know what? I could even stay a bit after school if you need, because sometimes having that first session with the guidance counselor can be a bit intimidating. We might not have covered everything that you wanted to cover. Um, what do you think? Do you want to talk about after school or we can talk later this week? Tomorrow? Of course, let me see. What's your lunch period? Okay. I could do another 30 minutes then. Yeah. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow then. Okay. Yeah. But what are your plans after school today? really 
heard too many students who've had reptiles. It's pretty unique. That's cool. So you're gonna go home, clean the cage and everything. Um, but what are you gonna do for you after school? No, that doesn't count. I want to hear something that's going to make you feel a little bit better today, okay? Focus on you even if that's just 10 minutes. I want those 10 minutes to be purely for you. Can you think of anything that, that can maybe be? A bath. That's a great idea. A nice bath. So tonight, take a bath, okay? And tomorrow's a new day fresh start, okay? And you know what? We talked about a lot of things. I want you to, if you can, maybe do some reading for your classes, but I don't want you to start any big assignments if they're going to overwhelm you, okay? Because, you know, there's a lot of emotions today just talking, bringing some of this stuff up. I don't want you to push it today, do too much. If you're feeling good and you feel like you can work on some stuff, then definitely go for it. But and I also don't want to, you know, push you too hard, too fast type of thing. So take your bath and we can talk after school tomorrow a bit more about your feelings in class, feelings towards your teachers maybe, because we didn't really cover that. I want to, I'm curious to know more about how you're feeling with your teachers, that connection there. Um, if you're feeling supported by them, okay? And in the meantime, today I will talk with your one, uh, teacher about that group project, okay? Yeah, and I'll work to get that group sorted out for you, okay? Hmm. Yes, don't worry, everything stays between us, like I said. You know the only time I have to bring an adult into it, talk to someone else? But with everything you've talked about today, don't worry, it stays between us, okay? Of course. Now, I do, as I mentioned, have another meeting with a student, but you don't have to go back to class right away if you don't feel ready. Um, I'm sure you saw, but there is a little lounge outside my office, so you can hang out there. Um, don't tell anyone. But if you go in the cupboard beside the couch, I do have a big bowl of lollipops. Pretty yummy, right? Kind of like the dentist office, a little treat. I don't know. I love me a lollipop. Um, so you can have one of those, hang out for a bit, okay? Until you feel ready to go back to class. Okay. Well, it was so nice chatting with you. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry. Not a burden at all. You did not bug me. You were in a stress. If anything, you made my day better. And I'm gonna have to check out these hip-hop TikToks. <laughs> okay. Deal. I will watch YouTube video. That one? Right, okay. I'll watch that YouTube video. We can talk about it tomorrow. 